And joining the studio now is Mr. Travis Cloyd. He is the CEO of a company called Mega World Media, and this is a company, as I've always said, you you guys are the 21st century marketing guys. I mean, that's the best way. I, when people ask me about your company, that's how I describe you. You're the 21st century marketing guys. I like that. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> you know, it's a new banner on your website. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but literally, I mean, you're involved in everything that has to do with what we call electronic and mobile advertising. Electronic being on the internet. Uh, handheld advertising, everything that people are using to reach other folks using all of this new technology. That's correct. We're a media and marketing company, you're right. We do everything when it comes to online marketing to help companies generate awareness on the internet. Whether it be social media like Facebook or Twitter, whether it be running ad campaigns on, on Google ads or Facebook ads, blogging, uh, running SEO campaigns, driving organic traffic back to the sites. Again, anything and everything on the internet to, to create awareness for, for a company is what we do. Well, what's really amazing about your company that I've always admired about it is that you guys don't get to rest on your laurels for five minutes because every five minutes somebody comes up with something new on the internet that you've got to jump on. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we're working around the clock nonstop, but you're right. I mean, it changes all the time, but we're keeping with it and we, we have a, a very innovative team. And so we're, we're staying on, on track with, with what's new and what's, you know, innovative. I think uh, one of the key words that you and I were talking about before going on the air was you referred to geo-targeted marketing. That's right. Where now, uh, and it will go back, say, 10 years on the Internet. If you searched pizza on the Internet and you were in New Haven, Connecticut, you might have got a pizza place in Los Angeles, California. And now, of course, when I search pizza in New Haven, Connecticut, I want to hear about Pepe's Pizza in New exactly. Haven, Connecticut. Uh, tell us how that's all changing. Well, obviously, with Google and in a lot of other search engines, you can't be as broad as, as you were as you could have been a long time ago, and and uh, be the first and best at everything and, and anywhere. So, so we do a lot of geo-targeted marketing. It also helps with companies that have limited advertising budgets. Uh, we could cherry pick different geo-targeted locations and drive organic traffic and drive you know awareness in that small niche market to help facilitate whatever business we are we're working with in that in that location but you have the ability to recognize where the searcher is located physically and drive that person to the location in that in exactly. their particular area that's amazing exactly yeah uh, basically we track IP addresses so we know if somebody is searching for pizza in Los Angeles or wherever they're, lo they're located uh, we will direct them to the exact location, the exact website that we build, the microsite that we build to, to find exactly what they're looking for. Now you mentioned microsite, I, I did want to touch on that for a moment because when you are building an online presence for a company, I know that's a large part of your business, you actually build online presences, but it's not just the one page that we're seeing. We go to, you know, I mean you helped us with our site, we go to moneytv.net, there we are, but there's a lot of back pages beyond that that helps get people to moneytv.net, correct? That's right, that's right, and again we do the same thing for every client, so uh, if they have different services they offer, we create dedicated pages that distinguish whatever service it is and if there's multiple services we have multiple pages so if somebody was searching for a certain keyword or key phrase that revolves around one of those particular services we want to direct them to the right place people these days they're impatient mm -hmm. and uh, obviously you know if we could find a way to stream them to the right location they could find exactly what they're looking for um, then they're most likely going to do whatever it is the client is, is looking for them to do now, as I mentioned, you never get a chance to rest in your laurels, and over the last several years, we've seen the advent of mobile devices. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of funny. I mean, I, you know, if you went back in time 25 years and said, someday you're going to hold in your hand a mobile device that can access all the information that mankind has ever accomplished in history, and yet people are using it to look at pictures of cats. <laughs> uh, but yet, from a marketing standpoint, you've got to stay on top of these technologies as they change by a day on a day-by-day -day basis. Absolutely, and and mobile is where it's going. I mean, obviously, uh, people are on the go a lot more today than they were ever before, mm -hmm. and, and and mobile devices are in the pocket, and it's convenient for them to open it up and 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 Google search something or find something they're looking for, as opposed to open up a laptop or going back home and searching it from their computer. So so we want to kind of be with it and be wherever they're at. What do you have to do differently for a uh, desktop website versus a mobile website? There's just ways that we code it, whether it's in HTML or, or any other way, we just code it separately for a mobile device as we would for uh, a website on the internet from a PC or a Mac. Once again, the company is Mega World Media. Their, their uh, website is megaworldmedia.com. You really got to go check that out. Uh, Travis, it's always an education having you here. Always a pleasure. Thank you.